Hi, I'm Mark, and welcome to Striven. In this video, I'd like to talk about scheduling and dispatching. So in the Striven system, I'm coming to my user calendar. When I'm here, you can select between multiple calendars that you may set up, where it might be an individual, or it might be a team calendar. Let's take a look at the field service team calendar. So here I'm in the month view, and I can see based on my arrangements that I've got these members of the team available to choose from. And based on my color codes that I've set up, I have unassigned tasks, assigned tasks, and completed tasks. So you'll notice on Tuesday the 26th, Lisa, Elisa Smith has completed this roofing installation task. And it is marked as done, and the color scheme is different than this task that is currently still open with Victor and not yet completed. It's marked in green. This task is unassigned, and we can simply move the task to a different day to reschedule it or move it to a specific person to assign it to that particular person. So here you can see Rich now is assigned to this task that was unassigned previously. And of course, you can change the view of our calendars to have just the work week or weeks. You can also choose to share your calendars with all employees or only a specific employee or team. And finally, you don't have to limit yourself to tasks or appointments. We can add events to our calendars that are based off of anything that's in our system, whether it's time off, invoices that are due, bills that are due out, or even milestones on projects. So the possibilities are really endless when it comes to how you can use our calendars in Striven. Shifting gears a bit from scheduling to dispatching, we can see that this calendar also provides some dispatching capabilities as well. So we can see here, when we click on the individuals that are involved in this calendar, Victor already has 10 um, hours in his um, budget based on the, the task hours that are assigned. Elisa has two, and Rich and, and Johnny have none. So you could easily reassign tasks and see that their hours have changed. Alternatively, we have, under our tasks menu, a dispatch capability and a workload report. And both of these come into play. For dispatching, we have all of the different types of tasks we might have in our business. I'd like to narrow that in scope to just the field service tasks. So this one, inspect and lube, could be assigned to any of these team members. But this isn't the right team that I want to see. Let's look up based on all the different teams you could potentially have just our field service team. So now, and before I make the assignment, I can see immediately Elisa has 10.14 hours, Victor has 18.85 hours, and Rich has 22 hours. So, and 10 tasks, 12 tasks, and 13 tasks with each one of them. So I could just base, I could be working with maybe overtime hours, a limit per week to see, okay, I don't want to go over that particular limit, or I might just want to give it to Elisa who has the expertise in inspect and lube. So I can drag and drop, and immediately you can see everything's changed. If you'd like to look at a detailed list of all the tasks that Elisa has assigned, I'll click into that icon, and I can see each one of these tasks that she's got assigned, whether it's completed or not. I can also click directly into the task to view additional details. And we have things in here like labels and all sorts of other great features that help you to manage your tasks. Back on the dispatching screen, I'm going to go ahead and close this and then take a look at my workload report. I'm going to narrow this report in scope to, again, just the field service team. Narrow it uh, in a particular date range or a particular employee itself. So I'm going to go back to January 1st. And this workload report is something that 
gives really good insight into the number of tasks and appointments that this particular employee has off, as well as balancing that against their time off. Summary Striven is great for using our calendar for scheduling and our task management for dispatching and workload. I hope this helps.